Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video we're going to take a look at five essential apps for your Mac. Our first app is called Unclutter, and it's a super useful tool that allows you to store notes, files, and pasteboard clips all in a secret area on your Mac. With a simple swipe or scroll down on your trackpad or mouse from the top of your screen, you'll bring down that secret unclutter panel. Here you'll find your clipboard, files, and your notes. The main reason why I feel this app is so useful is because of the clipboard access. I'm sure a lot of people are copying and pasting multiple items, but wish they could go back and recopy because they might have closed out that window. Well, Unclutter stores your copy history in a neat little box. This means you'll have access to all of your text and links that you've copied and pasted, and can easily recopy and paste those items if you desire. Now, there are plenty of apps that actually have this feature already, but I've yet to see others that take things one step further and offer files and note storage too. The files aspect is not only meant to keep your files in a quick and easy place for access later, but it's also meant to hide the clutter on your desktop. You can set the folder location of where you want these files to actually live, and if you need to clean up your desktop quickly without deleting anything, you can drag it to your files window to, you know, unclutter. Even though my favorite feature of this app is the pasteboard, the unclutter aspect is, well, it's bread and butter. Finally, there's also a section for you to jot down some quick notes without having to use an additional application and can easily access them in the unclutter panel whenever you'd like. I highly recommend giving this app a shot. Our next app is called Desk Cover and the premise is very simple. If you're constantly distracted by other application windows being open and behind the application you might be currently working in, well, Desk Cover aims to solve this problem. Sure, you could just close all the other apps, but sometimes that's not an option. You might need to access those other apps for reference. When you activate Desk Cover, this will essentially dim all of the other windows and wallpaper to give more of a primary focus on the app that's at the forefront of your screen. So for instance, I have the Notes app up and I'm working on a script for a video, and I need the App Store, Safari, and Messages in the background for reference at a later time. I can dim the background to make those open applications less of a distraction. The app allows for some customization, including a custom shortcut to turn the desk cover on or off. Next up is an app called Drop Zone 3, and if you're constantly rearranging files or sharing them with other people, this might be an easier solution than the native Mac sharing system with far more options available. Drop Zone creates a drop zone for you to drag and drop files into different folders, launch an application, or share them within an application or service. So for my workflow, I constantly open files up in Lightroom, Photoshop, or Preview. Instead of right-clicking and having to select the app, I can simply drag the files to the drop zone and on top of the application that I want to open it with. Now, this could be achieved in theory by just dragging and dropping it on the app that's in your dock, but this will help keep your dock clean and minimal. Another fantastic use case for me would be to share a file right into the Messages app without having to really open up the application itself, but the best use case by far is its integration with AirDrop. The best way to use AirDrop before was to either drag and drop the file that you want into the AirDrop tab in Finder, but that required having multiple Finder windows open, and it'd be kind of a mess. You can alternatively right-click, select Share, and then select AirDrop, but that's a lot of steps. With Drop Zone, simply take the files that you want to share via AirDrop, and drag them on the AirDrop action in Drop Zone, and you're ready to go. This app has a ton of customization available, and if you're really into it, you can actually write out your own custom actions. Bartender 3 is our next app and is all about keeping things clean and tucked away until you're ready to use them. This time, we are cleaning up our menu bar. Before Bartender, my menu bar looked like this, and after messing around with how I wanted these items to be displayed, Bartender has fully cleaned up the menu bar and has tucked away all of those applications. I only kept a few of the main essentials, Drop Zone being one of them, and the clock, and of course my sunglasses icon, which is Bartender. You can change this icon to whatever you'd like it to be, and if you need to view other menu items quickly, a keyboard shortcut command is available too. It's a simple app and keeps things very tidy. Speaking of tidy, our final app helps keep our application windows neat and arranged in a way to maximize our screen real estate and productivity. Magnet allows you to drag and drop applications into different zones of your screen, which in turn will snap that application into a dedicated spot and fit it to the perfect size. Of course, there are customizable keyboard shortcuts available, which is probably the best way to go if you really want to position and rearrange applications quickly, but it will take some time to memorize exactly what each shortcut is. Definitely a useful tool if you have a lot of windows open at the same time. So what are your thoughts on these five applications, and if there's an application that you want us to check out, let us know in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.